I got pulled over. I was literally like that. I was like, I'm just a girl. Yeah. And then I'm wearing my. Have you ever seen such a thing? It's so tiny. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just your type. I'm, I'm a baddie. Yeah. This one I'm so excited for. You to the people. I forgot how to literally put my hair in a bun. Oh my God. It is a little early this morning, but somehow I woke up without an alarm and I'm proud of that. If that's how the day is gonna go, I am running with it. Because it is Thursday and Thursdays are my favorite days. Put on a little pimple patch yesterday. There's such a big white head in it. Oh shit. Damn, all it did was basically pop the pimple. It's still white. <laughs> so tight like all my workout stuff is just not hitting besides the new stuff that i got from amazon but it's like so sad i don't know what's worse when you like outgrow your gym stuff or when you outgrow your regular clothing because it's like the fuck that is genuinely so normal you know when we were little how quick we grew out of our shit and now that we're adults it's even worse because we're obviously fluctuating fluxuring weight yeah it's too early for smart word but you know what i mean don't take it too serious i've been on a tea kick when i was in nashville well before nashville i've always loved tea and then my grandmother really put me on because she like she just made like the most simple tea so every single morning we would make tea together and now i'm like really hooked been having it every night every morning and it just like it wakes up my body but then at the same time it puts my body to bed it depends on the tea that i'm having but the tea kettle that i use gets my shit hot and it like burns my mouth oh wait no this is actually the perfect diamond bazaar cheers happy thursday i don't know what it is but toast in the morning just hits different i don't know it sets me up for success it's so simple Bread toasted mm. with butter. The best pre-workout meal ever. This is the gym fit of the day. We're going bright, bitch. This shirt I actually got from Target and then I cut it. Sports bra. This is from Gymshark. These shorts are from Airy. And then these sick ass sneakers are from Amazon. But they're Nike. They're the Nike Metcons. The best gym sneakers ever. You could do every workout in them. They're like a flat sole too, so you can lift in them. They're so good. I always feel like one with nature when I get up early, get into my car, and like the birds are still chirping. I'm like, I'm that girl. Nonetheless, I've been trying to wake up around like the same time. It's all, it's always between seven to eight. Very broad, very like, what is that? Oh, street cleaner. A street cleaner? I've never seen a street cleaner on this street random as hell if i sleep in anything past that like on the weekdays i just feel really guilty because then i'm like up late working oh wait yeah also i have a new podcast i think that i want to put you guys on or maybe i'm just obsessed with it right now because ariana grande is on it probably but it's called pod hold on it's called pod crust wait <laughs> pod crushed with these people that's the one in the middle is pen he was from you and like Gossip Girl, I don't know the other two girls, but Ariana Grande is on this episode and I'm like eating it up because she's like talking about her childhood and everything and I just, I'm an Ariana Grande stan, okay? I don't care what her past is. I don't care what her drama life is. Genuinely, I like her, okay? You will never believe what just happened to me. I got pulled over, nothing bad, nothing serious. Well. It's kind of serious. So on my street, like they've been doing road work for the longest time. And it's kind of one of those streets where it's like you roll through stop signs. Okay, I know that's bad. 
but still I've been living there for years and everyone does it today my dumbass wanted to do it in front of a cop and I swear to you this cop came out of nowhere and all of a sudden I look to my left and there's this there's the cop and I'm like oh my god I was literally like that I was like oh my god and then of course he had to put his lights on so he pulled me over and I was shaking like obviously I mean I know I did something terrible but it's not like I selling drugs or not, anything like that <laughs> and when I gave him the stuff he went back to the police car he took forever to come back and I was like there's nothing on my record like did he find something like am I in trouble and I was like every like the amount of overthinking I just did I was like I'm gonna go back in that police car like he is gonna arrest me and I was like JC yes you did something obviously illegal you ran a stop sign but you didn't murder someone oh god Cody's calling me but anyways we're all good we're going to the gym now up with my eggs oh my god bird your hair is in, in with my eggs Gym was amazing i thought i was going to record and then honestly i was a little shaken up okay getting pulled over this morning was not on my bingo card but it happened and i'm finally feeling okay it was nothing crazy i'm just very sensitive and soft so when i get in trouble i'm like <gasps> my god but i just made my eggs truly i make eggs every single morning since i've been like home from you know traveling a little bit it just like makes me feel like i'm getting back on my routine having eggs and i actually started doing you know making eggs well i showed you guys that i was making eggs with cottage cheese and then i got these like turkey sausage links and i've just been mixing them in i do about like two eggs a tablespoon of cottage cheese it's, it's really good because it makes it like chewy no crunchy a little bit whatever and then i just add the sausage and it's like ugh, it's just so filling it's so good ever since i got home from traveling i'm not gonna lie i just feel so bloated and not like myself which is normal because obviously i was eating out all week for actually i was eating out and drinking for two weeks straight which is not good i've never done that before listen i'm 24 years old obviously i'm gonna have some good nights okay i'm gonna get out there i'm gonna dance on the fucking table I'm gonna drink, but there's always part of me that's like, okay, let's reel it in. I'm always trying to find that balance. And sometimes I get a little annoyed with myself when I can't, you know, bounce right back, but slowly but surely making small steps always, you know, adds to a routine. So I feel, I've been feeling really good. I'm just like, you know, still feeling a little weak in the gym, but listen, at least I've been going, you know what I mean? shower oh my god Ugh. all know a good shower can just take you from level 10 to one thousand like i was already in a good mood but that shower really did it for me and also i don't know how but i got onto fenty hairs pr and i tried it oh god i'm also making a tiktok video my whole entire shower smells so good like no tea just facts like i'm not just like kissing riri's ass because obviously i love her look at the packaging okay I don't want to speak too much because I want to get my first initial thoughts for my TikTok, but first impressions, ah, oh, it smells so good. The best word that I can describe this stuff as, well, so this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner, easy. Easy to use and you get what it's described as, you know, because this is the moisture repair shampoo and conditioner and that's what you're going to get. So excited to see how my hair dries because I'm not going to lie, my hair feels so silky smooth. Got this new toner too, the rice toner. I didn't know Walmart sold Korean skincare. And when I ordered all of my stuff the other week, I ordered a bunch of like refills and also just things that I've been wanting to try, like this toner. Everything on Walmart, ooh, this smells like cucumber. 
Also, it's missing a lot because the first time I tried it, I dumped a bunch. But this is like the second time I'm using it and it smells so good. It smells like a spa cucumber. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Give me that hydration. Thank you. When I was ordering all my Korean skincare off of Walmart because Amazon was like sold out of everything. Everything was a lot cheaper on Walmart's website and it shipped so fast. This is my favorite toner ever from Aquel. This is originally like, I could be wrong, but it's around like 18, 14 dollars, something around those. Got this for eight dollars off of Walmart. I don't know if I discovered a life hack, but I'll leave a link of all the Korean skincare that I purchased from Walmart down below and I'm not sharing that nowhere else. Just you girls. <laughs> Just Whenever you hear the sound, don't be alarmed. Ooh, 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 dancing in the dark. My brows are just growing like caterpillars. This pimple right here. I'm like, am I ugly? No, no. Not ugly. Not ugly. I'm just, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl going through shit, you know, whatever. Honestly, this is gonna sound so weird and like backwards, but every time I get a breakout, I'm like, I am woman, I am fearless, I am sexy, I'm defined. You know what I mean? It makes you human, but it's just like getting your period. You're a girl. You're a woman because let me tell you if you've ever been on birth control and like the first few months when you don't get your period You're like uh, uh, Couldn't be me like mm, I'm so much better than you and then it's like a year goes by you still get you still didn't get your period But you're not pregnant. Obviously you're on birth control. Well, not saying birth control, you know, anyways and then you're like, damn, I haven't had my period in so long. I feel like a robot. Like every woman gets their period. It's like mother nature. You know what I mean? Like getting a pimple, just like, you know, it humbles you. I don't know why I thought of this, but on the podcast that I showed you today, they were talking about like the big difference, like to a 13, to a 13 year old and a 14 year old, like they are completely two different ages. And I was just thinking about when I was, was 12 and I thought it was like, the coolest thing ever that like in a year I was gonna be a teenager but I was going from 12 years old to 13 and I was like I'm gonna be a teenager like I'm grown I'm an adult like I just keep thinking about like one how I'm gonna be 24 in August, which is crazy, crazy. I remember me and my best friend at the time, we were literally like making this little slogan, <laughs> you know, YOLO, but we made it YOTO. You're only 12 once. And it was like our big thing. Like when we went to um, the local amusement park, amusement park, Dorney Park, we would be on like roller coasters and we would like hands up in the sky and be like, YOTO, like, oh my God. The nostalgia is just hitting me hard today. And I'm just like, wow, life is like, I feel like I've been talking about this, but like, I don't know why I've been having this like self-awakening feeling like you are truly only able to live one life. So like make the most out of it. And like, I don't know. I just feel like this switch is happening within me. Not like an essential crisis or whatever it's called. I'm not even going to pretend like I know how to pronounce it because you know me. I don't know how to pronounce shit, but I've just been thinking about like life in general and how happy I've been feeling. Uh, like it's getting to a point where like, I'm so happy. Like I'm glad I got pulled over today because it was like, okay, this is like, if this is the only bad thing that's gonna happen to me within the next few weeks, I'm good with that because I'm just so stable in my relationship. I'm moving out in a month, which I'm so excited about. Obviously, you guys know. I feel like all my social media platforms, I'm finally feeling like myself again, posting exactly what I want, just really connecting with girls and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm slacking a little bit on YouTube, but I'm just like, well, I don't know. I've been feeling really happy today too because I am vlogging. Like you guys, this camera, there's something about this relationship right here. Like I know I'm just talking to a camera, but then it will end up on the screen. Like I just, I love filming and vlogging at least like my life and bringing you guys along. I definitely feel a little bit off when I'm like off of my YouTube schedule because I'm like, oh my God, I gotta update my girls. Like I gotta let them know what I'm doing. And I've just been feeling really happy. And honestly, I think it's because I took like almost two weeks off of just like getting on my shit, you know, like making sure I post. And it's just crazy how like, when you truly start living in the present moment, you're just so thankful for everything. I remember in one of the vlogs, I was like, I don't know who I am really behind, like, well, outside of social media, because it's like, I turned my favorite hobby into a career and well, at least a job. Well, career, 
job, whatever. I, wait, what was I saying? Oh my God, I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? In one of my vlogs, I was talking about, oh my God, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, I was saying, who am I outside of social media? And I was like getting upset because I was like, what are my hobbies? And like, honestly, I have so many different hobbies. I love singing, even though, you know, whatever. I love going to the gym. Like the gym has been so so amazing recently and like i can just feel myself getting really back into like the fitness community in my own way this time you know and also just like walking outside like nature has been like calling me lately <laughs> oh my god i sound crazy i know i sound crazy um i promise i didn't smoke or nothing i don't know i'm getting into like interior design i've been really into like organizing and just like i think i've just been really grateful and blessed while well, feeling blessed lately and I was thinking like, if social media went away tomorrow, would I still be happy? Because obviously social media is a huge part of my life, not even as like a content creator, but just like as a consumer, I love it. Like who does, you're lying to yourself if you say you hate social media, because I mean, I know for myself, like I learn so much, I find so much inspiration, I'm motivated. Like the internet, yes, it has a lot of cons and a lot of negativity, but there's so much good that goes into it when you find your correct crowd and what you actually deserve to like engage in. I was just thinking to myself like, yeah, hell yeah, I would be so happy. Well, not happy that social media is gone, but I still would be very happy with my life and like everything that I'm doing and working towards, even if I don't really know what I'm working towards, I just subconsciously like try putting my best foot forward in a way where I know everything's gonna unwrap and unfold for myself. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I've just been feeling really good and it sucks because i feel like when i'm doing really good in here i lack like sometimes with filming and stuff like that because i'm just like i don't know i'm just like living my life but i'm really trying to find that balance with you know enjoying my life and well more so trying to find the balance with like work hard play harder and stuff like that and obviously it gets a little bit tricky because sometimes my life is my work and whatnot but i love it you know like i'm not complaining at all i just i'm i think i'm saying this more so to myself that i need to find a good way to balance like work and travel because i'm not gonna lie coming back from nashville i'm like am i ever gonna be able to like travel and record what i'm doing in a way where it's not like annoying but very organic but then i was like i went to jamaica for my birthday last year and I was completely fine. Like I filmed everything. I I don't know why I'm like beating myself up for like taking too long of a break or something because I feel like it's normal. I mean, if I worked a nine to five job, would it be crazy to ask for two weeks off? Maybe. Anyways, sorry, that was a big, big rant. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing so good and I hope you guys are doing so amazing too. Like it's the summer vibes, girl. Like summer just makes me so happy and I'm just in awe. Like, I'm so excited for everything. Um, but anyways, I've been talking to my camera for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna shut up and, um... I'm not sure. Of course there's a train. I'm not sure if this is going to be extra or not, but I am filming a TikTok transition, the Sabrina Carpenter one, that, like, please... Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Putting the eye drops in, because I want to be that bitch. Please. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I'm toxic right now, aren't I? This is toxic. Don't bring me TikTok is hard. It's like, more eye drops, please. Oh my God, I'm gonna go blind. There's a fly in here. Good news is, oh, these are from Clear Eyes. <laughs> and hopefully it brightens up my eyes. You know, it would be sick if I blinked and then a teardrop fell. I am so extra and I love it. Let's kill this bitch. Thank you.
Oh my god. Okay, I just finished getting my nails done. How cute. I'm gonna get a clip on the back camera, but I'm obsessed. She did such a good job. Every time I show her an inspo pic, she kills it better than the inspo. Like, are you kidding? We did like this orangey red with like this neon green for the cherries because i wanted to do red but i wanted to do something fun and fresh and summery oh my god i freaking love them i'm so happy go. i'll get my reaction of me drinking this beer if you look at my nails and give me a reaction okay go first well, i guess i oh I, oh wow yeah they are cute i really like them they're cherries yeah, i really like them aren't they cute and mm -hmm. fun i know they're really cute i finally finished my transition and it's funny because it's the sabrina carpenter song it's like, don't embarrass me, mother. Oh. And it kind of. gonna think we broke up now. No, I know. That song. What are you talking about? That's a like, song. Like, don't that, embarrass no, me. Oh, that's a song that TT song. Oh. No, but it was funny because when I was on the floor with the golden light, your picture was behind me. Uh, uh, you'll have to see okay. it. Okay, what is this? Just try it. It's a beer, cider. It's a beer. Kinda. I don't know if, you'd, if I would call it beer. It's not terrible. It's a grape shandy. Mm. They started kinda making a like, grape one. Kind of tastes like blueberry. I have a few packages that I would like to open. My daily mail of the day. I'm so blessed. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm so grateful and thankful. All right, number one. I don't know who this is from. Oh, Lati London. I'm not gonna lie. Their stuff looks like Claire's, but it is cool. Oh, it's cool. Oh, they got a little sponge. Cute. Oh, now we're talking. Okay, we got a little cheeky glow. Oh, it's in the sponge applicator. We got a brow pen and an eyeliner duo. Cute. Thank you, Lottie London. Thank you, Lottie. <laughs> Lottie. This one I'm so excited for. You to the Shout people. Big Lotto. You, oh, Lotto. See, I don't know. She owns I don't know. Lottie made me think of Lotto. <gasps> oh, you to the people just came out with a new serum. Superfood Skin Drip Smooth and Glow Serum. I love you to the people. I will definitely be opening this ASAP. Kale plus peptide, niacinamide, dan dandelion root. Wait, what's it supposed to do? Three in one, barrier strong, deep hydration, tone evening. Oh, that sounds good. Every time I get a new product before I use it, I always go onto like Sephora and see like how they recommend using it and like how I can integrate it into my routine. So I'm really excited about this. Next package is from Skin FX, I believe. I don't know when I got added to their PR list list but i'm not mad about it because their stuff is really good like this <laughs> what did you use open them up i know how to use a scissors Ooh, a face wash you're gonna love to live with me one day well soon because yeah one day as if it's not in like two weeks <laughs> well we'll get to share all this fun stuff skin no, effects ceramide plus whatever gentle gel Oh, it's a gel cleanser. I don't know. Oh, gel to foam. That's the shit. But I'm excited about that. Cool. All right, now we're gonna go to the food trucks. I won't be using that though. Why? My skin's really sensitive. Yeah, but skin effects is like kind of like first aid beauty. They're very gentle and no bullshit ingredients. So we'll have some spa days and I'll have you test some new stuff out. All I gotta say is we're currently at the South Mall and it's never been this packed. What'd you say? I think, look, I think during the summer it gets. This is crazy. I want to go Robin. We, it definitely was not this packed the last time we no, came. No, was the first week we were here. Oh, I guess you're right. Wow, see, this but guy is back so far. It's like 90 degrees right now. It is so, so hot. I can't believe you have jeans on right now. I know. I wasn't thinking when I got dressed, but I'll show you like the options. They usually either have really good options, terrible options, and I Cody see what and I, I want right there. A burger. I want burger. Red rock. Okay. Yo. But I will say, Cody and I, we're kind of food critics, you know? So it's kind of hard to please us. We got a lot of food. Look at this walking taco. Going in, bird, or what are you doing? Are you kidding? We got. Hot sauce. Uh, this is hot sauce, malt vinegar, taco sauce, and mm. same thing. It's either mild or hot. Okay, it's a roulette. <laughs> More hot sauce. 
sour cream, burrito. Maybe we do split this in half. Oh, yeah. Cause... Open that bitch up. And then, here's what their tacos look like. Me too. I've never had one. I don't think I ever had one. Had one and then, ooh, oh, that looks oh. good, Cody. Oh, that looks good. Just a soft taco. Cody got basically brisket on mac and cheese. With burnt ends, yeah. Oh, wow. That looks really good. And then we got truffle fries. Oh, fuck. Those are the best french fries to have with the malt vinegar. Hold on. Oh, my God. That looks good. Okay, what do we want to eat first? I don't know. Okay, let's just get into the fries. I'm starving. Mm-hmm. 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 Fire. Yeah, they are. Rating out of 10? I give them like a 8.5. Yeah, same because I wish they mix it around a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, now sticking with Mad Kitchen. Yeah, this does look. This looks fire. fire. It's like it looks like boneless wings. It's burn ends. What's that mean? So it's like um Oh my god, the barbecue. mac and cheese looks great. Oh, yeah. yeah, that looks good. <laughs> the brisket is like a little too soggy for me. Sure, it's the brisket or the baked beans? Oh, maybe I'm having the baked beans. I think you're eating baked beans. That's good. Rating out of 10? 5 out of 10 because it's very mushy. I'm about like 8.8. Oh, really? That's really good. It's, just, it's good. The only okay. thing I need to put on is a little bit of hot sauce. And... Yeah. All right. Maybe a 7, but it's still very mushy. Yeah, I think you were eating baked beans. Yeah, I didn't like, I don't like baked beans at all. Did you pay for this sour cream? I don't know. Because they asked if we wanted sour cream and we said no. No, we said yeah, we wanted it. Oh, we did? So unesthetic, but so I love these kind of good. Tacos. Me too. I love the what? What would you call that? Soft, soft shell. shell. Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah. Me a little dry, but it's really good. Yeah. Not impressed. I knew I wasn't gonna like it. All right. Now for the walking taco. This was twelve dollars. Shell, rice, sour cream, chicken, more sour cream on top. Is that what that is on top? I believe so. Oh, and cheese. Yeah, you can't really be walking with that. I'm just gonna try the meat and cheese, I guess. That I like because you can grab the sour cream with the mm -hmm. cheese. You wanna grab some this? rice? No, you got that. Wow, that rice is fire. Oh my God, that rice is so good. We used to make walking tacos with nachos. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Doritos. Doritos. Get a bite of that, Cody. Oh, and there's a little bit of corn. Oh, that was a lot of sour cream. Fire, right? What would you rate this? Wish it was easier to mix, so I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, honestly. Yeah, I'd give it a nine. I was That's craving a taco, and this is hitting. That was our food review. Wait, what was your favorite? Your that favorite was pretty thing? good. I think that mac and cheese. The fries are fire, though, too. Yeah. Good morning. Happy Friday. What was that? But. Making spider noises back there. Yeah. I woke up around like I don't know. I had way too many alarms this morning. Sorry, the light I is like crazy. I have a Nike outfit on right now. Oh, cute. I didn't even mean to do that. Nike boy. I've been going to the gym with my sister. I think I said it in this vlog that my sister offered to pay for my membership if I help her help her in the gym, which obviously I'm good with. That's cool. But I haven't gone to the gym with Cody in forever. And Cody was like the first gym partner I've ever had. So I'm really excited. And we're going to hit some legs today. I made myself. You got your Celsius, didn't you? <gasps> Can you please turn back around really quickly? You after buy one, get okay. One. <laughs> I need my Celsius. I like. Uh, I know they're so bad for you. And I actually am going to order my amino energy again. Because that pre-workout is like, you know, better for you. It's like clean energy. Oh, well, you got to wave. Clean yeah. caffeine. You gotta wait. What? They don't wait. Yeah, they do. When you're coming this way. Yeah, they do. Oh. Nope. See, they don't care oh, about you. Oh, that's so <laughs> awkward. Right by my house, there's a train, and when I tell you, there are train guys that wait out, camp out for trains, and they usually always wave to oh, everybody look who it is. crossing. Oh, it's my brother. But all right, we're gonna get some Celsius's. I'm gonna eat my toast with cream cheese. And we're gonna go to the gym and have a great workout. Oh, it's so beautiful out today. What's the temperature? Does it say in your car? Uh, 76. Yeah, it's already 76 degrees and it's 747 in the morning. I love it.
going golfing and I want to show you my outfit because I feel so cute. It's going to be like 90 degrees. So I wanted to cover my face and keep it like up and out of the way. I'm wearing this little bandeau top. This isn't like sweat proof material. So I hope I don't get too hot, but that's why I like kept my arms out and you know, maybe get a little suntan. I'm so excited. I even threw on my Apple watch. This was like- Yeah, you are excited. Well, I'm excited to sit in the sun and read my book. Oh, obviously I'm going with Cody cause I am not a golfer, but this was the first time I charged my watch in maybe like a full year because I stopped wearing it because you know, I didn't want the Apple watch letting me know if I had a good or not workout. So I stopped wearing it. And then I'm wearing this cute little skirt. I think actually Cody got this for me at Dick's Sporting Goods. It has like the shorts underneath. It's so comfortable. And then, yeah, you can go after me. And then I'm wearing my Nike sneakers and I'm wearing like Cody's tube socks with it because I'm not gonna lie, I really want a photo. My arms look so fat. Yeah, they don't. Okay, All right, so I got the bracelet from JC, the purple polo from Amazon, actually. Cute. Which JC said she didn't like at first. I, I I'm know. messing with the polo. I've never uh, really seen you in purple. Me neither. Uh, black board shorts. I think these are also from Amazon. Cute. Um, yeah, nice. JC's quarter socks because I didn't have any other wow, ones. Wow, you're cute. wearing my socks and I'm wearing uh, yours. <laughs> and then my Hirachis, but I have my golf shoes. Hirachis? Or uh, Metcons. Metcons. And then. Um, but I'm gonna take these off and put my, put my golf shoes on. Oh, that's right. Cody has professional I got golf shoes. shoes. I, hey, I'm not bad. And then uh, Philly's hat. Yeah, Phillies and Yankees. Yep, we'll see each other in the World Series and you guys go go. All right, here we go, guys. Passed it out. I just hit my head. Ooh. I just hit my head so bad, but passenger princess for now, and then I will be the driver once we get past, like, you know, what would you call them? The starters. The starters? That's what we call them. Once we get past the starters, because technically I'm not allowed to drive. What are your initial feelings today? How are you feeling, feeling so good. far? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real fast, real light. Like I'm going to stroke the ball real well. Stroke the ball? Yep. Wait till you see what I made. Okay. Hang on. So this is my range finder. And I took my average distances and I made myself a laminated card to know what club to use. Wow, you're kind of getting pro at this, huh? Pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty good. He's taking it real serious. And my shoes. His, his golf shoes. Oh my God. Yeah. Hey, if, yeah, if you golf and you don't wear golf shoes, I don't know what you're doing. Because I used to doubt them. I used to think they were stupid. <laughs> I used to doubt them. <laughs> I hope you can hear me because this is my survival kit when I go anywhere. We got deodorant. Spray deodorant brings me back to life. And then we have Tower 28. Actually, this is filled with my dupe of the Tower 28, but whatever. And then we got the necessities like lip gloss and shit. You know? All right, honey, what are you going to do? Hole in one. Right hole in one. The hole in one, right? Josh is back there. Say hi, Josh. Doing good, I think. I don't know. Every time I say good job, Cody's like, not a good job. So I don't know. Well, honestly, I feel like this is just a vlog of what I do when we golf, but I'm going to start reading. And I'm currently reading this book called, let's see what it's called, My Killer Vacation. I forget who wrote it. Whoever wrote the Icebreaker book, oh my God, that was my favorite series. And this is like such a good book. It's basically like your normal romance kind of rom com. Book, but with a random ass mystery and it also has a lot of spice like i'm nervous to start reading it here if you know what i mean oh yeah it is whoa there's speed bumps oh my god there's this speed bumps Really? Mm-hmm. 
Should have done it before. Huh? Said I should have done it before. You always look like two different people. How do you feel? I'm fantastic. I need to get this water out of my ears though. Give me a Q-tip. Kayla might. Kayla! Oh, Kayla's here? Oh, she's here? Yeah. She with the client? Yeah. Oh. But she's hiding in the back. Yeah. <laughs> you should keep your hair just like that. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine? It's back in. Oh my god. You look so shit. So it's pregame somewhere. Yeah. Well, yesterday we played golf, went to comics, and then went there. <laughs> Going for about five minutes. <laughs> yeah, oh God. You're it. really good at that. Wow. How? <laughs> That's a workout. It is. I can't hula hoop to save my life. <laughs> Watch, watch I've seen her dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Alexa, play New Kids on the Block step by step. This is what I'm trying to bring to the table, bring full circle, having balance. Like this weekend, I <laughs> I had a fun weekend, you know? We did karaoke last night, no, on Saturday. And then it was Father's Day weekend. We did a bunch of bonding. Like it was a really good weekend. Did I, you know, was I a little bit more social than I planned on? Yes. Does that, you know, 
weigh a lot on me and like you know make me even more exhausted it's not even the drinking aspect it's more so like trying to be social is just a lot and you guys know what that means like your social battery is just kind of done and so when it comes around to like monday i'm like damn i need a break you know and usually i always have a break on sundays like when i say i don't do a damn thing but that is what i do because you know it's nice to have a little rotting day and i'm not saying rot on your phone but you know catch up on your tv shows read a little bit do whatever the hell makes you feel rejuvenated and relaxed um i wasn't able to do that yesterday because it was father's day but it was such a good day and now it's monday morning i'm looking hella swollen so let's not talk about it but i'm about to get my ass into the gym literally that's so funny i pointed to the word gym but i'm gonna get my ass into the gym it's spin i'm so excited i love spin class i've been doing it at least well the one instructor quit i guess or got fired so wednesdays i was doing spin mondays and wednesdays but she's not here anymore so i don't know but nonetheless i am about to get in there and I love documenting like before and after a workout because the energy level is crazy. Like I haven't thought about anything today. Yesterday before I went to bed, I made a little to-do list. But the one thing I really try focusing on during the week, like in the morning is just like myself. I always put myself as a priority and then whatever comes after that comes after that work, etc. And I think it's such a good way to start the day, just like focusing on how you feel, movement, whatever that means to you, whether it's walking or I don't even know, simply, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever movement you wanna do, focus on that in the morning, even if it's literally just like standing outside. Like I feel like being outside, movement is so nice. But anyways, I don't even know what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna go take my spin class. It's gonna be a good time so excited about it and we're gonna get this Monday rolling okay I just finished at the gym I can't get over how swollen I am I actually really don't like it at all <laughs> if I'm being honest I've been really insecure about it lately that was a great workout I'm not gonna think about the physical appearance because I feel good and that is what I'm looking for butterflies after the gym feeling like I'm on top of the world and that is how i'm going to start my week i think i might start a different vlog and end this one right here i am sorry the angle is so crazy i forgot my camera so i'm vlogging on my phone but i just want to end this vlog with do what makes you what <laughs> i just want to end this vlog with do what makes you happy and whatever kind of workout gets you moving and grooving honestly just move your body it is going to change your life genuinely and drink your water okay this week i don't know where you are but in pennsylvania there's supposed to be a heat wave so just drink your water stay hydrated read a book touch some grass and just live your life to the fullest okay i feel like every summer is that season of life where it's like carefree living laughing thriving and just don't take life too serious okay find that balance and even if you're struggling with that balance right now just know you can always get back on the horse and start slowly but surely and everything will wrap it up together with a little bow don't get too hard on yourself if you enjoy life a little too much okay if you know what i mean and also don't be too hard on yourself if you're not enjoying life enough you know if you're staying in if you're in a little homebody season you know you just want to stay on the couch that's okay as long as you get a little bit of movement in okay move your body move your body rest drink water repeat okay and yeah it is still monday okay i'm trying to be you know give you some motivation but at the same time i'm still slowly but surely myself getting into the week but nonetheless i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this vlog i'm really trying to show you that balance is truly key it's okay to enjoy it's also okay to rest and you know be a little rotting oh <laughs> be a little rotting rat okay i love you and i'll see you all in my next video i love you bye Yeah, I know I look good, yeah, I look fly